Scalability. There's all types of scalability. Primarily two types that, that I'm going to talk about today. One is scale up and one scale out. This is where IBM really differs from all the, the other companies in the world. So X5 architecture, am I correct, Richard? Yes. So the X5 architecture, one of the great things about the IBM architecture is that you can take a server, and typically the problem with a virtualized environment is you don't run out of certain resources. Like, rarely will you run out of CPU before you run out of memory. Rarely will you run out of storage before you run out of memory. <coughs> you will run out of memory before you run out of everything else. Why? Well, because the typical server has less than 10% utilization on it. That's why virtualization works. So IBM, studying the um, architecture of Intel, mirrored it identically, and they're able to take this device, and you basically take the lid off a server, and you take this X5 piece, and you put it together, and you're able to add, what was it, two terabytes? Three terabytes of memory. Now you say to yourself, why would anybody need that? Because of the licensing models. So the licensing models are done by per processor. So you buy a server, it has two processors, right? Each processor has, you know, four cores, six cores, eight cores, 12 cores, depends on the brand. I guess it would have to be, I guess it would have to be up to six because we're gonna have to stay on the Intel platform, Richard. But uh, so you have six cores, and the problem is you have plenty of CPU, but you need more RAM. But with the way you pay VMware is you pay them by the core. You pay them by the socket, not by the core. Unfortunately, I think they're going to change all that on us here uh, very shortly. So, there you go. So, that's the great thing. Change. It's it's an absolute certainty. So the so the benefit of the IBM architecture is instead of buying um, like a full blown VMware. Um, if you're buying eight CPU license with support and all that stuff is $47,000. I know that for a fact because I just bought it on December 28th. So that was my Christmas present to ourselves. So um, the problem is if we run out of that and we need to buy another server, well, you know, we would have to scale out. So scale out means we have to spend one-fourth of that, essentially $12,000 for another pizza box to slide into our rack and boom. We scale it this way. IBM allows you to go this way. So complete difference in architecture. 